His run is over. And what you're looking at is the happy ending Trapper Vernon Yates and others had been hoping for. This male rhesus macaque, weighing about 45 pounds, has been eluding officials for three years. And Yates, who's received death threats over his attempts to capture the monkey, couldn't contain his emotions. From day one, I was always in fear that he would get killed. The search for the monkey intensified two weeks ago after the macaque attacked a St. Petersburg woman. But today, the hunt reached its conclusion. We first saw him, and I had a dart pistol, and it was too far for the range, so I got the dart rifle and had a good shot and managed to hit him. Dr. Don Woodman shooting the monkey with a tranquilizer twice. The first shot stunning the monkey before he pulled the dart out himself. It was nice to see the dart in his hand because that way we knew that we had hit him. Um, and so we could see, even through the underbrush, we could see that tip of the dart, and we knew that we had managed to, to tranquilize him. The monkey will now be tested for viruses and given a full physical. Since the woman who the monkey attacked received her last rabies shot today, the monkey's rabies testing may simply amount to some time in quarantine, which means officials can now look for a safe home for the macaque, which is all Yates ever wanted. He doesn't belong loose in our state, and he is here. He can't go back home uh, to his native land. So he has to get locked up. And uh, do I like it? Not really. What's the alternative? Death. And, uh, so therefore, I believe that he will be happier in the long run. He at least will have females with him. He will have a life. It may not be the life that some people particularly like, but it's going to have to beat um, living solitary by himself.